Welcome back to Oglanding in Norway. This time we pack up and leave the low country behind and head for the mountains. We drive Jotunheimen and Valdresfria and we drink coffee in beautiful surroundings. We end up at an epic campsite, so if you want to see how we got there and how it turned out, stay tuned. And yeah, please enjoy the video and remember to subscribe if you like it. Slept well? Uh, do you want my honest opinion? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, quite bad. Okay. It's really tight. Okay. Proper squeeze. <laughs> so, I was completely awake, ready to go out and check the clock, and it was fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And also, because there are no privacy glass, the, we have sunrise before. Five four, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's pretty early. It's, a, it's, a, it's fully sunlight there at that time. Oh, so, but I managed till now. I don't know seven or something. Yeah. So I think tomorrow night or tonight will be tenth. I think. Yeah. I slept well. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know why, but. Uh, Sleeping well inside my car. Maybe the X pad is uh, is the key. Coffee. If you have. Yeah. Coffee. The, um, the jet boil is really quick and I'm uh, glad I got it. You got, got one as well? Mm. Yeah. I got one before you, I think. Yeah, you did. We had it on uh, our uh, trip with Edjan. Yeah. Which... In August? Yeah. Yeah, I bet I had it before that too, I think. Yeah. So that. Just let that stand there for about a minute and then uh, press it and we have coffee. So uh, get your coffee cup. We have it ready already. Get my coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's my coffee cup? Uh, of course I have my coffee cup. The only thing, I don't have milk. And we are missing coffee Lars too. Coffee Lars. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing coffee Lars and that is we're missing uh, Lars. Yeah, we're missing Lars too. Mm. Coffee Lars and Lars. Coffee Lars and Lars. But my girlfriend has named this car Lars. Okay. So we kind of are... With Lars. With Lars. Yeah. Perfect sound. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Morning coffee. In the sun, outside, <laughs> over landing in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Oi. Ja, den är inte helt god den här. Den var fick. Thank you. 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this is new EGR. Probably. <laughs> We are on our way to Fagernes and uh, it's about 40 kilometers, yeah, 40 kilometers until we are there. Uh, and as we drive against Fagernes, you're gonna notice all the mountains are getting bigger and yeah. So we're heading uh, northwest uh, and uh, against Betostorn and Valdesfeia and. and uh, in Jotunheimen you will find uh, Gallupigen, which is Norway's biggest mountain. And so yeah, that's why you can notice you're getting closer while the mountains are getting steeper and higher and more majestic. So uh, four kilometers and then uh, we will be in Fagernes. Okay, so just been shopping, oh, mask. <laughs> been uh, at the grocery store, fill up some uh, supplies and uh, decided to stop here and just have some lunch. Perfect with uh, Discovery and the Range Rover with the drop down tail tailgate. So we can just sit here, enjoy our lunch and enjoy the views. Okay, so we are heading out of uh, Fargenhers and uh, heading for uh, Valdesfria and yeah, we think about two hours until we're gonna stop. We had breakfast <laughs> and uh, I think we're gonna have, uh, if it's the weather, weather allows it, we're gonna have lunch on top of, uh, of the mountains, so the mountain range Jotunheimen uh, and uh, I'm hoping it's gonna be be clear because last time I drove here with uh, Ödjan, uh, you can see the video here, there was rain and fog and we almost didn't see anything. So hopefully I can go up there now, get the drone up and fly. But yeah, next uh, next point of interest is uh, Betostern. Okay, so we are coming up on Betostern and you can see it's uh, a lot more snow here up here than it was uh, down by the river where we camped so we are definitely coming up uh, up on the mountains so we have just left the bitstone and we are probably up into the mountain uh, and uh, this is right after uh, Beta Stern. When you drove up to uh, <laughs> driven up to uh, Beta Stern, that's the boring part, and then you're gonna hit this this road, and it's uh, yeah, it's very fun start, and the views here amazing.
här på sommaren. Ja, okej. Okay. Ja. Lager kaffe. Bare lager kaffe. Men så dansk. Ja. Oh. Finding some coffee. So we drove down from the top of the... Good name. Valdesleja? Valdesleja, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Valdesleja, and uh, because it was so windy, I and mean, then we came down here, and it was just super uh, quiet. Quiet? Yeah, yeah. The wind is quiet. Yeah, the wind is quiet. So, having a cup of coffee, and then uh, uh, pastry. Yeah. Of some sort, yes. Cinnamon bun, maybe. Oh. Yeah. And uh, enjoying the views. Det är rött. Jag fick ha tot haft as much as morning coffee. <laughs>
I make my coffee in the morning a bit stronger than uh, the rest of the day. Uh, and now we have been shopping, so now I can get my milk in my coffee. Coffee, lid on, and uh, grab a cup, Eric. Cinnamon bun, coffee, gold spray, yeah. Best again. Best again. Yeah. So best again is a pretty famous uh, place to hike in Valdis I guess it's because it's a uh, wall. Uh, it's, co it's called best again because. Uh, the word eggin. Yeah. It's it's a um, knife edge. It's a knife edge mm. in Norwegian. So uh, it, it's literally all on both sides. Uh, there's a lake on the other side. And there's a. Uh, I'm not sure where the lake is. It's obviously, these boats are <coughs> transporting people to and from. Cheers. I need my milk first. <laughs> Tina milk. Best Norwegian milk. Smakgård. Smakgård. <laughs> <laughs> now, cheers, Eric. Okay, cheers. Mm. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. So we are done with lunch at Bess again. Have our coffee and uh, we are going to start driving down from Valdesfria and follow the river uh, and uh, we will start looking for camp. Hopefully we can find a beautiful place along the river uh, and set up camp in the light today. So yeah, driving down from Valdesfria. Going to, uh, we're going to ruin the road here if we are going to drive here because it's so you see it's soft. And this is probably like a semi-private uh, uh, road because you see the cabins. So people are spending money to keep this road, uh, keep the, this road in, uh, in good working order. In good order, yeah. And also, there's a place we could have camped down here. But there's a lot of snow. Yeah, so it's uh, at some areas there, there's gonna be a lot of snow. And we can make it, but uh, thinking about the road, I don't want to destroy yeah, the road. We, we're gonna leave marks behind, and that's not what we did. Hmm. But we will note, we will note this for, for summer. Yeah. We're gonna put down the points. You see, there's a great rare place to camp, so you can get two cars there, but uh, maybe three. Uh, yeah. So as Eric said, we try to live by not making uh, marks where we go driving, um, so we can continue to drive on these roads uh, in the future. Really too bad because it's uh, <laughs> super, it super perfect. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Super perfect place to to set up camp. Yeah, so you can see the. We're going to destroy the road with our uh, three-ton cars. Three-ton cars. Uh, over on this worst uh, enemy. No camping sign. Been happy days before. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's that that is even legal. It's uh, because we are uh, what's it called, Almanratten. Yes, but it states that you need to be at least 100 meters away from nearest cabin. Yeah. 200 meters. Maybe you're 100 meters. Okay, so, but it's already soft here, so. Uh, yeah. so we thought about camping over there with this view. 
would have been amazing. Also, you can see the other place we were. It's over there. Also, it's an amazing view. So we're going to drive on the other side of the lake. Hopefully, it's uh, open. So this was really a beautiful place. So we are going to note it, note it on the map for later when the snow is gone and the road conditions uh, are okay. I could just sell an old camping night. Yeah. Hello. Oh, this is perfect. Welcome to camp. <laughs> In the daylight? Yeah. We are setting up camp uh, at this beautiful location and uh, we uh, thought about driving down on the rock beach here but uh, seeing how soft it is we don't want to leave any marks. Uh, we are staying up above uh, on top of the road. We get some shelter from the wind behind the cars. Uh, something that uh, up there is going down around there I think and we'll be coming up again over over that hill so we'll get the morning sun hopefully and uh yeah so i'm going to sleep in my car eric is going to sleep in his tent down here after your experience last night yeah and uh so you're going to sit up there making some food and later tonight we're going to fire up the, the fire pit um, but just check check your area because you can get like uh, total total fire fire ban. Uh, both fire ban and when it's danger for forest fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. they will completely ban uh, primus and every yeah. also every cooker yeah. that it will give flame. Yeah, okay, so it's just open flame. Open flame. Yeah, but you have you have the generic. And then you have completely. Yes. So now we are passing. Uh, what is this? First of May or? First of May. Yeah. First of May. So it's a generic ban of fires. Yeah. Open flame. But if we can make sure that this won't be a forest fire in a proper manner uh, and use common sense, it's it's okay. Yep. So uh, hopefully, fire pit. It's going to be a fire pit, it's not hopefully. No, no. It's going to be a fire pit tonight. So uh, sitting down here, enjoying our our camp in the wild. And uh, yeah, it's pretty next to, it's next to the road. But uh, with these views, we are will allow it. And uh, also the road closes, the gates on both sides of this road over uh, all this area, the closest at eight. So after eight, it's not going to be any any cars. It's so crazy this is going to be my view tomorrow, so uh, looking forward to waking up already. Uh, making the bed, just make it ready so when I we get really tired I can just jump, jump into bed. Uh, also we are putting on some uh, more clothes, sun is going down, but we're going to put on some clothes so we are ready for the, the cold which is coming. Um, ready to make dinner 
change the plans since it's so good weather, weather today we are going to 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 uh, grill barbecue okay Eric what's for dinner we found Pepsi Max yeah yeah Thank you. Woo. Nom nom. Yeah. That one. And this we one. got it. some uh, pre-made or pre. Uh, so yeah. seasoned. Seasoned. Thank you. Uh, chicken. Chicken fillet and uh, paprika and herbs. So uh, yeah. This is going to be good. You maybe need some olive oil to uh, yeah. not to burn everything down. Not particularly farty, and I rot a little bit. Oh, <laughs> smells so good! Oh, I'm so happy! Happy, happy, happy! Oh. Mm. Looking forward to some food. Yeah. The discovery is blocking the sun. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, good. Mm. Looks yummy. Well done, Eric. Mm. Again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you pull oh, what? Yeah, good. Time for dessert. Strawberries, milk, and sugar. I'm craving something sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I even want coffee, but uh, it's uh, a it's a bit late. Don't want to get up uh, five tomorrow morning to uh, to have to pee. But yeah, old guy. What? <laughs> I'm not old. Seasoned. Se seasoned. Yeah, I'm seasoned. 35? Okay, so it started to rain, ruining the perfect evening. <laughs> so we are packing up everything. Uh, what the, what, what's the time? It's late anyway. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's 10 to 10. Okay, so it's 10, yeah. So it's uh, about to... Uh, it's about that time taking... Uh, Going to bed. It's about the time to go to bed. Uh, either way, uh, we would have stayed up uh, to around 11, I think, if it was uh, better weather. But we are uh, just jumping into our beds, and then hopefully we can get an early start tomorrow, and with some better weather. So it's going to be rain until tomorrow morning, and then. Uh, it should be clear during the day and then uh, rain again tomorrow night. So we are, hopefully we can uh, do something outside tomorrow. 
and not be be stuck driving all day. So yeah, yeah, raining on the lens. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out Patreon if you want to help me create more overlanding in Norway content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, it's strong, all right. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have your milk, that's mm. why. Mm. Happy days. Happy days.